Hey, welcome back to Scrapping It Up, and we're continuing with our file folder album, and we're going to do our waterfalls. So, I got my homework done, so I get an A today. <laughs> got my file folders cut down, and I got those inked that I needed to get inked. Okay, so you need a top tab and a bottom tab. Okay, we are going to cut these in half at five and a half. Okay, so cut them right in half. Cut them right in half. Okay, keep them, kind of keep them together. Now you're going to grab your album and we're going to need some hinges. And these are going right on top of our pocket page. Okay. So this is the back. And I'm going to attach this to the front. But when I attach this, I want these to be hid when I close this page. I don't want them showing here. Okay. So it's like a quarter of an inch away from the edge of your pocket page. I'm going to round my corners. Oh, my thing must be getting full. Just a second. And I'm going to cut this one off just like half an inch. I want a little bit more of a tab. See, now I have a little bit more space in between the two. Okay. I don't know if I said that in the cutting guide. Yeah, I did. I did state that. So there's one. Here's your other piece. We're using the same folder on the back side here, okay? The one we cut in half, so you use the same pieces. Okay, we cut that folder in half, so we're using the same pieces. Now, it doesn't matter how you put this. You can put those first, then these. It doesn't matter. I'm going to put mine like this. So what we need to do now is attach, well, we got to do a little bit of inking. I can ink off camera, but we've got to do a little bit of inking before I attach these. Okay. And I better ink just a little bit of the edges here just to make it a little bit easier for me. pieces flip it inside out and do that crease on the inside and I can do the rest of the inking otherwise it takes forever to ink now our hinge we have you should have some pieces left and it doesn't matter if it's too short. It's not. It's not going to matter. But I am going to put them like that. Okay. It doesn't matter if these are too short or not. It's not going to hurt nothing. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to just line this up. Don't go over the top. And if you want your hinges to be the full length, um, you'll just well. Well, we got more. You can make it some more hinges. Totally up to you. But I'm just going to do this. Don't go over. Stay right up. Get back here. 
It always listens to me when I tell it. <laughs> yeah, right. Do the same thing with this other one. Make sure you're putting them on the back side. Okay, make sure you're putting them on the back side. This one's already inked. Was the other one inked? Yep. And you're going to do the same thing. I'm going to ink that just. Make sure you're attaching them to the back side. Okay, I think I said I wanted that one at the top. Yes. So I'm going to flip this around. And like I said, about a quarter of an inch away should keep you hidden when you flip. Yes. So I'm going to line it up here at the top. Take my tape off. Find my tape. Well... There we go. Okay, just like that. Now I'm going to hold these up a little bit. I'm going to line them up. Okay, I'm lining up down here and I'm making sure that I'm not sticking over any on the sides. I do not want to stick over on the sides. Okay. And when you got it, raise that one up. And attach. And give it a burnish. And when you attach this one, make sure that you're not that too far down. Because otherwise, it doesn't flip right. Mine's kind of catching on the top of my folder. So you want to make sure you're on that edge, okay? Just like that. There you go. Now you can do, do the same thing to your other hinge on the front of your page pocket, okay? Do that on your front page pocket, okay? right here. Now we have these two pieces here that are left over. Okay. So what we're going to do, we are going to cut these at Okay, cut these at 8 from the tab. Okay, cut these at 8 from the tab. And then we're going to score them. Yep. Okay, let me double check for the back. I think that will be... Yep. Same with the other one. Cut it at eight. These are should be some leftover pieces that you had. Okay, when we cut our six and three quarters, you should have had these two pieces left over. Okay, don't throw these away. Now we're going to score these two pieces at half an inch. Score these at half an inch. Okay. Score both pieces at half an inch. <gasps> Oops, I got off. <laughs> at half an inch. Okay. Now this second, um, <coughs> about, you can go ahead and fold. Okay, go ahead and fold and burnish. But don't apply your tape yet. Bec 
because I want to see which way I want to put these. You can see we have a top one here. So I guess really, yeah, I want that one on the bottom. Okay, so let's attach our tape. I deviated from my um, tutor a little bit, so that's why I'm having to measure and stuff. So I deviated, so the cutting guide and everything will, will match exactly what we've done here. But it doesn't quite match what I've done in class. We got the same effect. We just done it just a little bit different than how I done it in my class. Okay. I'm going to pull back on this so I can ink this real quick. Then we got to make a waterfall for our pocket too. So now this piece is going to attach to the front cover, okay? It's going to attach to the front cover and I'm going to, where it starts to go flat. Because if you go here, I mean you can go here, but I'm going to put mine where it starts to go flat. Around, you know, right here. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to Ooh, it's my fault. Okay. I may have to trim off my file folder just a little bit. Yep. It sticks over just a hair. So I'm going to trim it off. Sorry, I'm off camera. Didn't want it sticking over. Now, back cover. I'm just deciding on which way I want the tab to go. On the front, we stuck it opposite. Okay, so I think on this one, we're going to stick it opposite too. Okay, so you're going to fold towards the bumpy side and burnish. We're going to apply our tape, okay? Now I'm going to ink it. There's a lot of ink into this to this album if you're inking it. A lot of inking. Okay, I'm gonna fold it back to where it belongs. I'm on the back side of the album, okay? And where it starts dropping off up, you know, where it starts going straight. That's where I'm gonna put my file folder. Okay. I'm gonna line it up on all sides. Might be just a hair over on this one too. Just a second, I'm gonna check. So if I am, now's the time to put it back in my trimmer and trim it off. I'm just gonna trim just a hair. Alright, 
might as well go ahead and round my corners while I'm at it. We'll get this on, then we'll get our pocket waterfall. Okay. Where it just starts going straight on your file folder. Make sure you're lined up in all, all ends. I'm going to take my tape off. There we go. There we go. Okay, so let's make our waterfall for our pocket. They should have a bottom tab left. So now, oops, I gotta trim my folder. Cutting it down to 11. You're going to cut it in half again. Five and a half. Cut it right in half. Okay. Uh, I got one just a little bit bigger than the other one. Oh! Mercy. I didn't cut that very good at all. What the heck? Yeah. Wow. Okay. I'm going to cut this one down to match to match my other one. So with that. Will that do it? Oh yeah. Okay. Don't know how I done that, but I done it. Okay, now, we only want this to be 10 inches, because otherwise it won't fit in our pocket very well, okay? So, what you're going to do, let me uh, get this one out so I can... Okay, I put this one on the bottom. Again, we're going to cut half an inch off to make it look more like 8 tab, alright, just on that one, it just makes it, gives it more of a uniform look, okay, I'm rounding my corners, now you're going to need one of those pieces, that was left over from cutting our file folders down. And I believe that measures two inches. I gotta find my pieces that we have left over. Aha. That measures two inches. And you're looking at two inches right here in this long one. Okay? You should have a couple of them. Okay? So two inches. You're going to cut this down to match your folders. So I need to make sure I'm... So I'm five and three eighths. Oh, I hate. I'm just going to do it this way. That's right there in that crack of that line. That is the one thing that I don't like about this. these trimmers. So here's what you're going to do. You got this one at 2 inches and this one here. What we're going to do, we're going to attach this one to the very top. And then the other one is going to be attached. So you, you got this here. 
You do not want this going over 10 inches. So hold your ruler, put your ruler down. Okay. You do not want this going over 10 inches. Okay. So I'm just going to go just a little bit below that score line right here. So I'm going to attach my score pile tape. And it's like a quarter of an inch is what it is. Just about a quarter of an inch, guys. Okay. And then I'm going to attach tape to the top here. And I'll attach tape to the bottom. Now go ahead and ink this. Okay. I'm going to ink. Let's see, this is this one. So I'm going to ink. It takes a while to ink all this. Okay, that one. Now do the same thing to this one. them back the way they're supposed to go. I'm going to attach my bottom one first. I'm going to have my ruler here. I want my ruler at that natural fold right here. I'm going to make sure I'm not going over 10. Okay. I'm going to take my tape off. Okay, and I'm going to fold that one down. Oh, why ain't it coming out? What did I do wrong? Um, cut the other side. Attach the folder with no tab to the outside of the half inch. Oh, I was supposed to go other way, wasn't I? Oh, dang it. Crap, I was. Because it should have been um, the two inch This was down here, and this one's up here, and we got we had to cut some some of it off. That's is that one going to be savable or not? Will it be taped up? Oh yeah, let me make sure. Yes, the tape does cover it, so we're good. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Should have read my instructions. 
Should have read my instructions. Okay, so we'll retape this. Your guys's will be right. <laughs> Mine wasn't. Okay, so tab down at the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to take my tape off. Sure you get it on there straight. And we'll put paper up here so that'll hide that. Okay, now this one, I think we gotta cut it down just a little bit. So I'm gonna cut half an inch off again. Okay, I'm just cutting half an inch off each one of these. Yeah, since we're applying this on top of this piece, that that will be okay. There. Now it gives us what we need. Okay, now I'm going to line this up with this one. I'm going to take my tape off. And then I'll need to take my tape off on the back side. Sorry I messed up, guys. <laughs> And this will be cut, you know, cover it with paper. There we go. There's our waterfall for our pocket. <coughs> okay, where's my book? There we go. See, that's why we had to keep it at 10 inches because of the, your pocket here. Okay, that is... Now, in our other one, we put a pocket here and added another waterfall. Um, how much room do we have in this? Oh, yeah. I mean, we could put a pocket on there. Anyway, here's what we've done. We put a pocket here and then added a waterfall. And see, ours is a little bit different because I goofed up <coughs> on the tutorial. I goofed up, so I just kind of fixed it when we put... Let's see, which piece was it? You know, I hope... You know what I done? I put my waterfalls on. No, I didn't. I was going to say, I put my waterfall on upside down. <laughs> but I didn't. <laughs> Phew. Anyway, when we done this piece, the piece that was left over should have been the piece that went here. But so we, I just compromised, and I'm gonna, you know, I changed your guys' cut and guide is just fine. I just uh, changed it before I, before you guys got a hold of it. So that is our album. So I'll get all this. Ooh, messy desk, messy desk. So open it up, and then you have a pocket here. You have a flip and a flip 
and a pocket. Of course, you, you're going to have a waterfall. You're going to have a waterfall here. I just didn't do it on camera. You do it just like you you done your back one. Just like you done the back one. Okay. You make sure you're going to hide it so you can't see it. Your pocket. A flip. A flip. And your waterfall. There you go. Now, if you guys want to do the pockets and the other two waterfalls, um, let me know in the comments below. Well, I could just go ahead and do it, and I'll. It's not on the. It, it's not on the tutorial because it wasn't part of the original tutorial. We just added it. So I'll go ahead and. Um, do the videos for it, so that way you guys will have it. We'll do the pockets to go here, like in the original ones, and then you'll do a waterfall again, like this one, okay? Okay, that is it. I will come back in the next video and show you how to do the pockets. Okay, ladies and gentlemen? Alrighty, so we'll see you in the next video. Talk to you girls later. Bye-bye.